Yesterday, we told you about Sabrina Schnorr, who was killed by an ex. Her mom now bringing to light her daughter's struggles with domestic violence, urging others to get help. Our Paul Bloom headed to Owatonna, where this young woman was killed. My child was stolen from me. I'm never going to get to hold her again. Stacia Schnorr is one tough mama bear. Her heart, though, shattered after the murder of daughter Sabrina. She just had a good heart. She cared about others more than she cared about herself. Authorities have said that Sabrina Schnorr was killed by ex-boyfriend Jason Lee Horner in Owatonna last week. <laughs> Left for dead after a fatal shotgun blast underneath this I-35 overpass. Community members and Sabrina's family spent the weekend cleaning up the once disgusting trash-filled area along the train tracks painting a purple memorial in memory of the 25-year-old. It's a place where somebody can come if they're feeling out of hope and maybe come and be inspired to get help. Stacia is now urging others in troubled relationships to get help. According to court documents, Sabrina was so fearful of Horner, she'd inquired about getting a gun for protection. Surveillance video from the night she was killed reportedly shows the couple walking the train tracks nearby Casey's and then disappearing under the bridge. Only Horner would eventually emerge. Police would arrest him several days later. And many times I'm at a loss for words to anything. But when it comes to my daughter, don't be like her, please. Don't end up like that. You're better than that. You deserve better than that. And one other prevention step Sabrina had taken was to download a GPS app tracker on her phone and then giving that information to her friends so they could always track her whereabouts. Tragically, it was this app that would lead a friend and then police here to this scene under the overpass a week ago now, Tuesday night and the days that have followed. You can see it has become a space of healing and comfort. Reporting in Owatonna, Paul Bloom, Fox 9.